everyone. Welcome to YG Cards. And today we have one box of 2022-2023 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. So I have a whole bunch of boxes here off to the side, folks. Yes, I am extremely late to opening these boxes. I was actually on vacation for a couple weeks out of the country. So yeah, wasn't really opening anything. Uh, I know that some time has passed, but yeah, here we are again, folks. We got a bunch of boxes ready to open here, uh, waiting at my doorstep. So yeah, let's rip right into this. I'm not gonna go over the details. I think you've all seen enough of these uh, breaks as of late for SPA. So 10 packs per box, nine cards per pack, hoping for at least one Future Watch Auto every box and an additional autograph now upper deck is printing more of this stuff so they are including things like the retro feature watch autograph cards other autograph parallel cards and even short printed parallels of just future watch cards or other uh you know insert cards so yeah kind of products getting a little bit watered down anymore it's not just your typical number to 999 future watch autograph cards that you usually get in prior years but so yeah i mean there's boxes where technically you may not even get a normal regular future watch autograph number to nine 99 so yeah folks let's hope that's not the case in this one and let's see what we can pull this is the 22 23 crop so i'm looking for some individuals like mr batty veneers and shane wright marco rossi slavkovsky jack quinn owen power to name a few so there is the empty box packs are out all right folks let's see what we can pull hoping for a really nice feature watch autograph card or even a patch card that'd be really really nice i think those are guaranteed one every eight boxes if i recall so here's the base so i do like the lesser number of packs and more cards per pack kind of reminds me of like a tops chrome format so here's a base sod stamkos ekblads we have a limited red here of jack campbell sp top rookies a brand clark we have a pageantry card of nathan smith larkin eichel and left near base i hope you all are having a fantastic day fantastic week bit of a pause on upper deck releases here which is kind of nice since i was away <laughs> but i believe 2223 stature is still slated for i think november 22nd either that or maybe got pushed to december 7th so one of those dates so we got a future watch red here of jake christensen for the columbia blue jackets we have a collaborations insert of larkin kubalik and and look at this. This is a Future Watch Gold out of 99 of Nils Amon for the Canucks. So this is kind of a short printed variation I was talking about. So this is a limited Future Watch Gold. I don't really believe these existed in previous year's products. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's another numbered hit. I don't know if these have much value. I don't know if Nils Amon actually signs cards or not, but um, every Future Watch card usually has or will have these kinds of parallels. It's kind of like this one too. It's like a red, non-numbered. And this is a gold number to 99. Okay, next pack here. Okay, so next pack of Liney, Vanasek, Suzuki, Chase Pearson, Future Watch Red. We have an SP Top Rookies of Dylan Holloway for the Oilers, and a pageantry of Caleb McCarr. Yeah, I figured with this year's rookie crop, 22-23, I figured this product would hold its value, but it is definitely very watered down with, I guess, I'll say non-desirable autographs uh, or just additional short-printed um, Future Watch cards that really don't hold it much value. So Ehlers Red, SP Top Rookies of Gustavstel, and a pageantry of Blake Coleman. I'll likely collect the base set for SP Authentic like I do every year, and then probably get rid of most if not everything else that i pull saris norris wilson we got a future watch red brand clark and we have a true leaders uh, insert romaniosi and a pageantry of arbor jekai 22 23 stature is coming out at least in the next couple weeks so that should be actually a really fun product to see open it's considering 21 22 was such a hit i think we got a, an autograph here this is a retro take away the base cards in the back with pageantry mitch marner we have as sp top rookies andre kuzmenko and i think this might be yeah, there it is. Sick. Okay, nice. Owen oh, Power. Future Watch Retro Auto in 99. Okay. Well, that is uh, a good one. <laughs> a good autograph to get of one of the top rookies in the 2023 product. It is a Future Watch Retro card, which is the only, I guess, annoying thing. It'd be nice to get one of him, Owen Power, of uh, the actual... 2022 design. But there's an autograph of Owen Power nonetheless to 99. Okay, right on. Nice. All right, next pack here. Take a note that that autograph was on the left stack. It matters. Latang okay, case. So we have Jason Robertson Red, Collaborations, Panarin Fox, and the Pageantry of Pablo Organda. All right, yeah, I might open some more Series 1, 23, 24 on the channel. I did only do the one box. I just, I don't know, the rookie crop didn't seem very appealing to me and figured prices of boxes would come down, which they already are. Okay, we got a truly instead of to Chuck. We got a Spectrum FX. Okay, so you get one of these per box. Steven Sam, this is the base. And a pageantry insert of Nikola Ehlers. You can also get the clear cut, or the clear, clear, maybe it's the acetate feature, uh, uh, young guns in the in this product also of, of the future watch card so okay we got oxovechkin asip tobrook is so guard and oh we got another spectrum effects okay and it's a future watch one of jonathan kovacevic for the canadians okay so we have a future watch a spectrum effects i don't know if they do the levels anymore because they used to be like level one two three uh, i mean i'm assuming that's probably like a level one maybe two okay last pack here folks should contain our second auto of the box okay carlson crosby kopitar we have a cole 
Hopke, future watch red from the back. Got these base out of the way. Okay, here. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, so we have a uh, Ryan O'Reilly True Leaders, and it looks like another retro future watch, of course. And it is Philip Roos. Number to 699 for the Chicago Blacklist. So this is what I'm kind of saying, folks. So I'm sure Philip Roos has a normal feature watch auto, which has 999 copies of it. Now he'll have an additional 699 copies of this particular feature watch card, which is a retro design. So yeah, definitely a watered, I feel like upper deck. Sure, the demand is, is higher, so that's fair enough. They're gonna produce more, but it definitely seemingly, you know, a lot of the autographs are getting watered down, so the valuations will come down. So, okay, Future Watch Retro Philip Roots to 699. All right, folks, well, that was a pretty fun rip, I have to say. Uh, I think we got a pretty decent value out of that box. So, here we got the pageantry red of Nathan Smith, a Spectrum Effects cards of Stamkos and Jonathan Kovacevich Future Watch, a Retro Future Watch auto of Philip Roos, another Retro Future Watch autograph here of Owen Power to 99. That's really nice. So that's kind of the main hit of the box. And Nils Amon Future Watch Gold. Gold to 99, and then we have a whole bunch of future watch reds here. Jay Christensen, Chase Pearson, Brandt Clark, and Cole Kopke. All right, folks, there you have it. That's our one box of 2023 Upper Deck SP, SP Authentic. I'll be opening a couple more of these on the channel, so stay tuned for that, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. And, okay, take care, everyone. <laughs>